find the best locations in Colorado to live. My name is Christy Lee and I'm a local real estate agent that works Denver and the surrounding areas. And if you're new to this channel, click subscribe right below, click the little um, bell. That way you're notified in all the new videos that I have coming out. Um, I will be putting out videos every single week that's gonna show um, everything Colorado for that matter. Um, I am a native, which is pretty cool because you know what? Um, it's very rare to be a native in Colorado nowadays. And I honestly don't know why, because it is so amazing uh, to live here because we have the four seasons. There's so many things that you could do year round. Um, but for whatever reason, uh, we have more people coming in than I feel like who are staying. So I am a native. Um, I have moved 18 times. Yes, you heard that correctly, 18 times. Um, I'm sure my parents were completely frustrated with me uh, when I was younger because they're the ones that have, were moving me every single time. Now that I'm older and I'm married, uh, I'm sure they were extremely happy to pass off the torch to my husband to help me move. In fact, the last seven years of knowing him, we've moved five times. Now, let me be clear, I don't love moving. Um, it's, it's, it's kind of a pain in the ass. We all know that. We don't like to pack. We don't like to, you know, to redecorate. Well, actually, I do like to redecorate. Um, but more or less, I just like to get to know new areas. I like new things, new houses, um, new apartments, you know, back in the day. So that's why I've gotten to know um, Colorado, um, different areas in Colorado that I absolutely love. And that's what this video is all about. So I'm going to take you on a little bit of a tour on my personal favorite places to live. I've lived um, on the west side, Arvada, Broomfield area. Those are going to be closer to Golden, um, Boulder. I've also lived as far south as Colorado Springs, as far north as um, Erie, Colorado, which is northern uh, Denver. And then I've lived everywhere up and down the front range. So let's start. Let's go ahead. Let's get it kicked off and let me take you around town. See you soon. First stop is Erie, Colorado. Now the reason I chose that this uh, city first is simply because this is where I live. I've actually had three houses here, two in the exact neighborhood. So I am a huge fan of Erie. Erie is about 35 minutes north of Denver and 30 minutes uh, east of Boulder. Now the great thing about Erie is that it's a small town feel. Um, you still get you know the the little downtown area, the um, farmers markets, the festivals, we have balloons, um, hot air balloons all summer long. It's such an amazing area and it's great for families. Um, we have parks and trails, miles and miles of trails. In fact, um, we have trails that'll take you all the way out to Boulder. Um, so if you're into those types of things, um, Erie is a great place to live mainly because the cost of living in Erie is quite a bit less than Boulder, um, but you still get the feel of Boulder um, to an extent. So a lot of people, to be perfectly honest, I had never even heard of Erie until I had met my husband, even though I am a native, which is, which is pretty funny. Um, but many people have actually gone towards Erie mainly because it is so much more affordable to live out here than it is to live in Boulder. Um, the population out here is just over 24,000 people and we are actually both in Weld County and Boulder County. Now um, there's a line that separates us. It's um, County Line Road and that is going to be separating the Boulder, or excuse me, the Weld and the Boulder counties. Um, if you live on the Boulder County, it is going to be a little bit more expensive as far as taxes are concerned. Weld County is definitely going to be less. So um, me personally have always lived on the uh, Weld County side. Now here's one of my favorite parts of Erie and it's downtown Erie. Downtown Erie is pretty special to me because it still offers that small town feel, yet just in a little bit bigger city. Erie in general is actually named one of the best cities to actually raise a family in in all of the nation. So that's actually pretty cool for all of us. Downtown Erie offers a lot of things year round. We have during the summertime, um, concerts in the park. 
We have farmer's markets. Um, during the Halloween season, we have Buon Briggs, where the little kids get to go trick-or-treating up and down the street and get candy from the locals. And during the Christmas time, um, during the holidays, we have a parade that has Santa Claus and the local high school who comes through with all of their um, you know, floats all decorated. It's just a really great way to bring the entire community together. Next up, Broomfield, Colorado. Now, I spent most of my adult life in Broomfield, Colorado, working, playing, uh, and living. So let's get into it. Broomfield is located about 30 minutes west of Denver and about 17 minutes east of Boulder. It is also located at the bottom of the spectacular Flatirons Mountains. Broomfield is home to many great employers such as Oracle, Hunter Douglas, Staples, and Ball. A lot of people actually relocate to the Broomfield area because their employer is transferring them over. The population in the Broomfield area is 69,000 people or just over and the cost for the average house in this area is about $515,000. Broomfield is also home of the First Bank Center. The First Bank Center originally opened in 2006 and it hosts many different types of uh, entertainment from country concerts, pop concerts, and even Cirque du Soleil. It's a great location for both Boulder, Fort Collins, and Denver for people to get their entertainment um, and still be in the suburbs. Now, the reason why I personally love Broomfield, Colorado so much is because it's conveniently located right by a few of my other favorite cities in the area, that being Boulder, Louisville, and Lafayette. Oh, and also Westminster actually, in fact, as well. Now, because it is in the center of pretty much all four of those, you are able just to, you know, drive just, you know, 17 minutes to Boulder. You could take an Uber ride if you need to, to Old Town Louisville and hang out there. Um, there's a bunch of fun restaurants and nightlife out there. Westminster um, is extremely close too. Um, so that's why I like Broomfield is because it is centrally located. Um, you have the Flatiron Mall with all of the um, stores and restaurants. Unfortunately with COVID, a few of those have unfortunately shut down. Um, but I have a feeling that, you know, everything is gonna be picking back up here pretty soon, fingers crossed. Uh, but you know as well um, I will say as well with Broomfield is that Broomfield is right in the middle of Boulder and Denver like I already mentioned it's only 17 minutes from Boulder 30 minutes from Denver um, if you are a commuter we do not have the light rail out there yet but there is the RTD which is the bus system um, there is a park and ride that is extremely close to the Flatirons Mall you could just park your car there and get to either Boulder and Denver in no time Last stop on our initial tour together is going to be Arvada, Colorado. Arvada is located 20 minutes west of Denver and about an hour to hour and 15 minutes to the closest ski resorts. You can get to Blackhawk in Central City, which is our gambling facility just up the mountain in about 40 minutes. People move to Arvada because it is so close to the foothills. They could get up to the mountains to go biking, hiking, skiing, or anything in no time. It is also extremely close to the world famous Red Rocks Amphitheater. In my opinion, Arvada is separated into two separate sections the older section and the newer section. The newer section is gonna be um, closer to the foothills on the west side of the city. The older section is going to be on more on the east side, more towards Old Town, Arvada. These homes are gonna be have built in about the 1950s, but a lot of them have actually been renovated um, and definitely are just as expensive as the newer ones. People like being close to that Old Town um, feel because there's a bunch of things going on down there and it's also where the light rail stops. Our 
Nevada has the largest population of today's tour. They have 119,000 people who live in the city and their average home price is just over $500,000. Now this is Old Town Arvada. Old Town Arvada, just like Erie's Old Town, is up and coming and the place that everybody wants to be. It has restaurants and breweries. They always have activities year round to help bring the community together, like festivals and races and movies in the park. Old Town Arvada is also the home of where the light rail is. Now the light rail is super important to Arvada because it helps connect Denver and surrounding areas of Denver to Arvada. It took a very long time to finally get the light rail out to that area and we finally have it and people want to live close to it because it helps them get to work easier, it helps them get downtown easier, and it just overall is a great addition to Old Town Arvada. So that's it. Those are my favorite cities uh, around town. Please let me know if you'd like additional information about any of the cities um, or if you want me to, you know, do a video on a specific city that you're actually interested in. I'd be more than happy to. Drop a comment right below. Um, like my page and again, subscribe um, so you can get new videos when I come, when they come on weekly. Um, I look forward to um, hearing from you reach out to me anytime if you're thinking even thinking about possibly moving to Colorado because I could give you some tips and tricks and um, I get calls from around the nation of people who are interested in moving here and I absolutely love talking to all of you talk to you soon bye bye <laughs>